scared to us And I wasn't prepared to love I know I sound crazy, but your mouth scared me I'm just here cause you're to go A good nigga is rare to Testing, testing, this is me testing. I'm not on an airplane right now, which is pretty awesome. Uh, the Los Angeles airport is full of a lot of balls. Their United Club bar is way too fucking busy. It took me forever to get service for my free booze. It was very distressing. Um, but, you know, that's, uh, that's, that's club life. L-Y-F-E. Yo, you all. Yeah, all club life. It's different than bird life. Bird life is the only life for me. I love birds. There is definitely going to be a lot of jury more in LAX. Uh, <laughs> that is where. Check, check, check. That is where I will be tomorrow. Really? Check. Yeah, flying to LAX. It's a terrible airport. It stinks. Next time I go to Burbank. I like big butts, and I cannot lie. Update. you take me to for Unky Town? So have you updated the doc at all? Uh, the emails are new. Uh, except for the blockbuster email. It's not in there? No. Because you were hiding it from me. I did not want you to read it. I was looking for it, to be fair. I oh, know. Oh, uh, are you going to put the chat up? Uh, yes, I Or am. I guess I can try and no, 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 just no, I got watch it. it here. Comcast monitor. Okay, how did you make yours gray? Because when I load mine now, it comes in black. Uh, yeah, no, that's the default. And also, I don't know how to use my nickname in it. Because I put it in and then it changes it. Because I have it registered, but I'm not sure how to log in. Yeah, I don't know. So it's like, oh, hey, it's here. I'm healthy addict. And then it changes it. Mm, that I don't know. Well, it says oh, it just hi. set your mode to healthy addict. Oh, hey, maybe it changed entirely. Yeah. So those gears up in the top right corner. I clicked it before. Oh, this is, okay, weird. And so, yeah, just scroll up and you can change your defaults. Whoa. Change your defaults. Change your defaults. Change your defaults on the IRC. All right, guys, this is going to be a rock and roll episode because I think we got some fun stuff to talk about, but we also have a, a blockbuster email. If you enjoyed Ghost Dad... The Night Attack episode, then you are going to enjoy this episode of Jury More. There is twists, turns, and intrigue. Thank you, Nashcom. Though it seems like I'm still healthy addict, so I'm not going to change it. Okay. Yeah. Um... Oh, shit. Also, I'll have to... Poop. Get the big gym email.
We look really pink. Yeah, we should probably white balance. Do you want to white balance? Are you getting up? Is that a yes? <laughs> uh, sure. I'm not sure how to white balance this camera. It's your camera. Not this one. Oh, it's not? Uh, um, we need something white. I'll just lift up my shirt. Show them white ass titties. Here. Um, so it's all on touch screen. I know, but what? How do I get to it? On um, it's the touch screen menu. Oh shit. That one's touch screen. This one isn't. Oh, that one, then I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure it's possible. All right. Well, it's fine. Let's just roll with it. I don't mind. No, it. now it's a thing. Let me try it. Ugh. How are you guys? How you doing? I missed you. It's been a while. It's been a while. Burr, 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 burr. How'd you figure it out already? Because it's the function button. Okay. Are we white? Much less white. Or much more white? I'm still pretty white. Oh, there, it nailed me for healthy addict already in use. Um, okay, how do message? Do you type in identify? I have no idea. That I have never really cared about. My chat nickname, everybody else can figure it out. All right, y'all ready to roll? Oh shit, how did this stop streaming? Oh, it did that for me too. There we go. Okay. You ready to roll? Uh, yes. I'm going to send one more t tweet. You got it. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Cool. All right. You ready? Let's do this in three two one hello everybody and welcome back to the Jury Mora podcast, the, the podcast where uh, we're getting married. I feel like when we actually get married, this will be like part of it. Like, I feel like we're getting married. It's not like a lead up to us getting married. We are getting more married every time we do the show. So it's like a loading bar. Yeah. But like, like the end of it will full. just be it being completed. Mm -hmm. But we are well on our way to marriage. We like are. If, if we left, if we left each other at this point right now, we would still be partially married. So like, like right now, what yeah. percentage married are we? Do you think? Uh, I'm afraid to put any numerical value on it because it will mm. make it real how close our actual wedding is. I know. Oh my god. Uh, all right. Well, welcome everybody. This is going to be an awesome episode of the show. I can I can feel it coming in the air tonight because. We have 
few updates. We have a good topic, and we have some swashbuckling emails. This is action and adventure at its highest form when it comes to emails. And I have no idea what we're talking about. Well, you you've seen you've seen the, most of them, and there's good people have kept writing in awesome emails about their own views on having kids. But bombshell this morning when I got an email from my mom, Gloria Young. What? Chiming in on our kids episode. Oh, fuck. <laughs> now you, I've only told you that there was an email from my mom that involved the show. You have, I have refused to let you read it. Well, I mean... The so what percentage married are we? Are we leaving off at whatever percent we're at? Do we have do we have to abandon ship? Uh, so all this right. is this is like skin in the game. Like this is not just somebody writing into the writing into the podcast. This is my mom. This your is real. Mother in law. Hashtag. This what did is I, real. What did I send you? I texted you this morning and said that my mom wrote in hashtag. This is real. Anyway, we'll get to that, but first, let's talk about the updates. Update. Update. You're a terrible fiance. I'm the worst. You need to just leave. <laughs> this is this is why we will never reach 100% critical mass Number for Number one, wedding. you... I think you, on, you watched put... an episode of Daredevil without completing... The basic task that you, promises, broken promises, broken dreams. You put, Ugh. you made a very unfair deal. First, this started out no, thinking this is that not we unfair. would be able to watch Daredevil together. And I was like, oh, would you like to watch Daredevil? Yeah. And you said, what's Daredevil? And what? I explained to you what Daredevil was. And you're like, okay. And we tried to watch it, but it wasn't out at midnight Pacific yet. So we could And I like Marvel. You do. I didn't know. Like, I, I don't pay attention to, like, what's going on in pop culture land. If you would have never told me about it and then you just watched it, I would have been super pissed once I found out about it that you didn't tell me and that we didn't get to watch it together. Yeah. Instead, you were the nice fiance. I was. And you said, hey, let's watch this together. And then we couldn't. And then I said, you couldn't get ahead of me. Until you scripted our fucking wedding. And you're like, sure, of course, look at me. I'm the best fiance in the world. I'm like, yeah, you can get ahead. You can get ahead of me in Daredevil if you do this. That's yeah. the one thing. You had one job. Okay, well, no, see... You are right in saying I'm a terrible fiance. You are right in saying that I broke our agreement. That's all true. You are incorrect when you say I had one job because the reason why I haven't scripted the wedding is because unfortunately I got thrown a last minute thing to do in Santa Cruz that involved me going down and the game was a lot more of a mind share thing that I would have expected it to be. And so last night I soothed myself and to give myself Something to talk about on the jury show today. I watched the only the first episode of Daredevil, which I will happily watch again. Okay. Also, I'm going to be um, gone for like aside, five days. Aside, I leave tomorrow. We're going to be away from each other. Well, you're not allowed to watch any more of it. God damn it. Until you finish. The script. The script. Yeah. And tell me. Yeah. Jury, Justin yeah. Robert Young. Yeah. Given that you've been so busy this weekend, I've been gone. God damn it. You guys, how how much Hearthstone has he been playing? I, mean, I assume he got live streamed. Maybe, maybe. How no. much Hearthstone? Okay, how much Hearthstone have, have not, you been playing? I have not live streamed any Hearthstone. Okay, how much have you been playing in I, the last yeah. 48 hours? Beep, beep. I mean, huh. I mean, I mean. Hmm. I mean, what I had said, right? See, now to be honest, like I don't even remember how much Hearthstone I played. Like you know, like when I think back on it, I'm just like I don't, I don't even know. To be honest, only like maybe a few games, like one or two games. I have not played a lot of Hearthstone. I've not done a lot of anything aside from the work I've had to do for this game this morning. 
and then driving back from Santa Cruz today, which took a million years. Hmm. There was not a lot of okay. Hearthstone played. All right. Just, just saying. I have not advanced any in Heroic. How much squared circle? <laughs> not even a lot of that. I, I've honestly not fucked around a lot. Okay. All like, right. Like Daredevil was last night before I went to sleep because I wanted to try and go to sleep and I wanted to watch something as I went to sleep. Okay. That was that was that was it. And that's now whether or not you believe me is a test of our relationship and whether or not we should be getting married. <laughs> uh, but but that is that's that is the truth. No more excuses. Moving forward. <sighs> I know. I just have so many fucking things. To do. So do I. This is why this is why weddings ruin marriages. Which is kind of ironic when you think about it. I know. And I'm going to be gone for like five days. Uh, and then I only come back so I can be gone for another five days. And then I leave for another three days. And now that's going to turn into five days because they're adding another travel game on top of the travel game. to uh, It's too much information to take in right now. Listen, I'm just... Uh, listen, you, you're the one who's just saying... I have just spent all this time in airports and public transportation. I just... No. That said... Yeah. I think... um. While while you are wrapping up scripting the wedding, I'm actually gonna have to sit down. I think the 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 next step for um, probably like so that we we're way past due on doing is yeah. just kind of setting up a schedule for planning on other shit that needs to get done. Yeah, I mean a lot of that's gonna come a out of when for you the schedule. a schedule for the schedule. Yeah, well, no, I'm serious. So like things that you know we got to get rolling on the bridesmaid stuff and the groomsmen stuff and yeah. i don't think you've made any progress on that and i haven't told people to go buy it yet no we need so to. like there's just stupid shit that we know we have to do and we saturday, have to set dates let's to finish. do let's do next saturday because we're gonna go look at birds this saturday this saturday i mean yeah the upcoming this is saturday a, we we're gonna talk about this uh, is that a surprise did we want it to be a surprise we talked about it Okay, anyway. Here, try to plug um, in your mic because I think your mic's a little... Yeah, there we go. Um, there we well, go. Well, we're not... We may not get a bird, but we're just looking. We're in the market. We've got a lot of space in that... In, in uh, Birdmore Estates. I'm winning. Um, I'm winning. And also, uh, apparently keeping four uh, random smelly dudes on your floor... Uh, is a good uh, way to make up for it. Yeah. Um, but uh, all that aside, guys, uh, wedding registry is still alive and strong, apparently. Uh, um, yeah. We recently got. So your your mic's a little hot, so you can probably lean back. A we bit. recently got um, a blender. Yeah. Which. Uh, fancy. dude! Big shout out to uh, Rob Howard. An old friend of mine who was unfortunately not going to be able to make it to the wedding with his wife, Chrissy, and uh, their newborn son. I guess not so newborn now. He's like a year old. Which shows you how fucking old I am that my friends have one-year-olds. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, thank you very much to Rob. Rob bought us the blender. Uh, mm -hmm. He says, uh, nothing, uh, nothing says congratulations on getting married like a blender. Um Rob Howard, fun fact, uh, we once got into a drunken fight and I broke his nose. What? Uh, and he was shooting blood out of his nose. There was like a stream, a clear stream of blood. Um, and we took a photo of it. It was an amazing photo. And uh, it was a house ad for the newspaper that we were both working at. And we put in a hundred and twenty point block font. Don't fuck with copy. And we were hiring copy editors as like super badasses. That's like very silly. We might have made the most brutal, amazing, violent advertisement looking for copy editors. I'm very proud about it. Listen, uh, so anyway, Rob, who is an amazing, talented uh, designer and thinker and entrepreneur, uh, I'm very happy that he has given us a blender. That's very nice. Uh, AFX in the chat says, the new Apple Watch, will it blend? Uh, we, I'm getting an Apple Watch. I don't know. Carl was giving me shit in the chat room because uh, he was asking you to make fun of me for being white people rich for buying an Apple Watch. But 
I almost bought one. Yeah, I know. I was going to say, like, you are fucking barking up the wrong tree for an ally. Yeah. On that one, Carl. Yeah, sorry. Because fucking Ashley was like, oh, I don't know. Should I be buying an Apple Watch? At midnight? I don't know. Um, but yeah. So anyway, uh, bit.ly slash jurymore. We had... And we got a bird kebab. More bird kebabs. More bird kebab. I didn't bring the paper because I didn't know we were reading off names. Uh, they, you said they sent in an email. Yeah, no, they sent in an email, so we'll give them a shout out okay. once we get to the email. Cool. Uh, awesome. So let's go ahead and get into our topic. Money. <sighs> What is it good for? A lot of things. Say Divorce. It again now. <laughs> Money. <laughs> uh, so, I think we've talked about. Have we talked about our bank accounts? The bank account strategy. Well, okay. So we talked about how we have separate bank accounts. Yeah. Um, and that's very intentional. Yeah. And we're not planning on merging them. No. Though we do have technically right now a joint account. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, it Count just for joints. No, not yellow no, not swag, joints. Yolo swag four twenty. I I think you're confusing that account with the <laughs> one that money goes into. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Don't tell them about the joint account. Yeah, I live. We live in Oakland. <laughs> okay, yeah. It's it's medicinal. Yeah, no it's medicinal I joint mean, account. Smoke weed every day. <laughs> so. Money's weird. Yeah. Money's a weird one. And I'm not totally sure where to go on this because we, you and I, until I think really just this last year, haven't really talked about money all that much. Yeah. Aside from like maybe our own personal finances, but not, but now that we're doing like big marriage, we're not merging it together, but our finances impact each other much more yeah. now. And Especially when somebody's wasting money on parking tickets. Ew. A lot of parking tickets. Ew, might have got another one. You got another one? Maybe. Where? Maybe. It, it, was it around the block? No. Oh, yeah, oh, no, you. <laughs> no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It was in San Francisco mm. at the Go Game. Is it really that hard to just spend the extra 10 minutes to park your car? I was late for a meeting. Uh Uh-huh. And I parked in an area that is very often not checked. And I've parked there before for a while. They happened to check it, and I got a ticket. I'm very (sighs) cavalier with it. I'm very. I'm very cavalier with the parking. And I, uh, it's bad, and I waste money. And like, money in general. I waste money in general. Oh. Yes, that's a fact. Yes. I'm not great with money. Now, the good news is that I don't exactly have expensive taste. Like, the most expensive thing that we spend money on is food. And it is something for which we both derive a lot of enjoyment from, right? Like, you do a food <laughs> blog. Like, we both enjoy certain kinds of food. We, we like we good like- food. And we're like in Hipsterville... USA. And so there's plenty of places that will trade us good money for good food, right? That's like something that we have a lot of here. And so looking at that budget, that might be the only thing for which that and electronics. But even then, it's not like I buy, I buy new iPhones and everything, but even then I trade in my other ones. So it's yeah. not like we're really spending, I'm not paying full freight on everything. We don't buy a lot of like TVs or shit like that. The most money we've spent on electronics recently has been for this studio. And even then, most of it we got secondhand or, you know, we have Home Depot lights. We don't have like fucking LED light bricks or nothing like that. Yeah. Uh, so it's like, yes, I waste money. I'm willy nilly with money. I will very you easily throw money. You are an impulse buyer. I'm You're an impulse buyer. impulse buyer. But I don't feel like I have outlandish taste. Like I don't, I don't spend a lot on a lot of things. The things I do spend on, I spend freely, right? But it's not crazy. Like, I still have a fair amount of money saved up. Mm -hmm. And I don't think about saving money. I just don't spend a lot of it compared to what I make. 
What do you mean? I mean, so like you do, like I said, you do a lot of impulse buying, like the the random Star Wars convention out of the blue, and then um, the WrestleMania thing, which I w- was expected, but you know, all of a sudden, like a bunch of people over in addition, and we do eat out a lot more than yeah. we should, and that is more out of I think your um, not wanting to wait for me to cook something or do dishes. Well, we <laughs> part of the the bad side of not both of us working nine to five jobs is that we are, we are very often just on different schedules. You yeah. Know? So it's like, if you get a late lunch, then you might not be, you know, ready to eat until, you know, nine or 10 or something like that. If I only ate breakfast, then I'm like starving by five o'clock. Yeah. So, Part of it's that. It's just easier to order stuff. Uh, but I went and did a spreadsheet. More of a spreadsheet. We're on the slow march to spreadsheet. So for you guys who aren't aware, um, as you're moving forward, Justin's moving forward doing more podcasting stuff. Yeah. And like figuring out like, hey, it's like running a business. Maybe we should put together budgeting. Yeah. Yeah. And so this is where the spreadsheet thing has come in, which I don't think you've ever done anything like this before, right? No. Like we've talked about this. My only goal in life in terms of money, I'm far more interested in respect than I am money. And I often look at money as just kind of like respect markers, you know? Like if I do a job, I want to get paid more money for it because I believe that that's a concrete way that people can express respect. But my only goal in life when it comes to money is to spend what I want without worrying about it. Because when I didn't have money, money was terrifying to me. You know, like I would go and get a meal at Taco Bell and be terrified that they that my bank card, card was going to get declined. And I would therefore work, I would be very, very ashamed to like check my, you know, do the the four passwords that I needed to have to get into my HSBC account and look at the depressing horror show that was my bank account, you know? Mm -hmm. And I felt really bad about myself, and there was this kind of Pavlov's dog response to me of, like, looking at money makes sad. Jury, look at money makes sad. And now I'm getting better at looking at money, but I'm still working into this idea of like, it's good and helpful to look at how much money I have and think of things instead of just buying things. And not just drop $500 on an Apple Watch because you really want it. I dropped $300 on an Apple oh, Watch. sorry. That wasn't even... White people of, rich. No, that was money that I got from Andrew. That was a, I traded a, a global upgrade for that Apple Watch. I you sold a global upgrade for... I got Andrew back from Singapore first class. Andrew and my buddy Ken, who was out there in Singapore with him. Mm. I got them back to America first class for an Apple Watch. And that was a deal for them, by the way. Yeah. Because it costs a lot more to fly from Singapore to LA first class. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, so, no, I, I, I am weird about money. I, I am I have bad money habits. That's a fact. Like there's no And I freak out about it. Yeah. A lot. Especially because I don't come from a particularly money background. And not to say that you do. Yeah. Um, but you know, when I see even a hundred dollars dropped on something. Use, I freak out. Wits. I wits. I cringe, yeah. you know. I mean, and and to be fair, like like we were talking about how we we eat out way more than we should and we have I don't even I don't even want to call it expensive taste because even a lot of the places that we go, I mean, this is just an expensive area to be. Yeah. Like it's not that all the places we go are expensive. It's just it's expensive to eat out in California. So if you were to go to a rando restaurant and have meal, two meals, appetizers two glasses of wine each you're looking at 70 80, yeah 70 like 80 at, bucks at like a middle of the road restaurant right? yeah and there ain't a lot of like that's the other thing is like out here there ain't 
Like you're like, oh, I don't know. We'll go to fucking Applebee's. Go to fucking Olive Garden. Like they they, they don't, don't exist. Do, they don't here. do chains here. <laughs> yeah, like there's not a lot of them. So we don't really have an option to do that. I don't even think there's like a fast food restaurant here. I guess if we go a little further, there's it's a Taco like a, Bell and, down a, down and a Chipotle, but it's f- Chipotle. Yeah, but you even know. that Chipotle is like at the upper end of fast food yeah. money wise. Um. So but, anyway, like. Th- at a regular restaurant, that's what it is. So you go to a nicer restaurant, then you're looking at a hundred, right? You know, just figure your markup a little bit. Yeah. And like again, I don't so much worry about that. I think it's like it's more just the random postmate stuff that we do. Like oh instead my God. of So for those of you who don't know, Postmates is one of the little gems here in the Bay Area where uh basically it's an app service that turns any restaurant into delivery. Yeah. So you pay a delivery fee and then you also pay the tip of the person plus the cost of the food. So we will get like some of our favorite places like homeroom mac and cheese. Yeah. Which is great. Which is great. And probably on even the lower end of cost for a lot of these places that we would sit down and eat. Yeah. Um, Because it's mac and cheese. Yeah. But the amount of money we will pay to have that delivered is just silly it's ridiculous you know it, it's kind of weird and um you know but at the same time it's it's fun like we enjoy it but that's the shit that we could probably curtail a little bit brunches brunches we can curtail which is really hard as white people in the bay area <laughs> oh my god like brunches we are, are, religion. We are revealing ourselves to be startlingly white oh right my now. god are we oh dude oh. The whiteness has uh, has has gone. It's embarrassing, guys. Over nine. We are we are those hipsters, but I don't know. It it, it I don't it, know. It, it's it's the double brunches that's the problem. Every yeah, once in a while, fault. a Sunday brunch, a Saturday brunch, something like that. Saturday's usually the day because Sunday's a little harder schedule wise. But it's like it's when we do it the both days. That's the problem. It gets silly. <laughs> day drunk. Woo. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I forgot where we were going with this money thing. Oh, the mint thing. You were going to talk about the mint thing and like looking at our spending. Yeah. So I, I don't know I that did... we want to mention like how much money we've spent because it's terribly embarrassing. In one month in March. Should we drop that number or is that a problem? I don't know. How what we spent on food. I don't know that we should because. Uh. Can we, is there a percent? Is there a percent of All your right, here spending? We go. Uh, in the chat room right now, of course, if you are not watching, you should. You can watch uh, us on DiamondClub.tv, the brand new redesigned DiamondClub.tv. So go ahead and put in the chat room what you believe we have spent on uh, on food in March, what we spent on food in March, and I uh, will just name the number and then say higher or lower. And uh, the chat room can just food. We are only looking at food. Which would include drinks. That includes drinks. Uh, 2400 Lower, right? Was it lower? It was lower. Yeah. Lower. You don't even remember? <laughs> I think I remember it. Here, I don't know on. how we hold spent on. that much money. Higher or lower? I think. I think it Pull was. Pull up your Mint account. I'm not doing that. That's terrifying. Uh, two thousand lower, nine hundred higher, twelve hundred higher, seventeen fifty, close. It was seventeen seventy six, Pierce. I thought I think it was lower than that, but it I was, think it was seventeen hundred. I thought it was like twelve. Oh, okay, maybe it was twelve. But it was stupid high. It was way too much. Granted, to be fair, we were at South by. Yeah. So like we were, a lot of there was a lot more money that would have been spent there, in general. Uh, but that's still a lot of money. In the grand scheme of things. Yeah, and I mean, and it's something that we can take down. Like oh, it's, we, we, it's we easy can, to take we down. We can still live exactly how we want to live and not spend that much. Speaking money. of which, what do you want to order for dinner tonight? <laughs> oh, you motherfucker! All right, uh, 
we will have more. I'm sure that this this money topic, I think, will will continue to be a, a thing because it is something that we talk about a lot. But let's go yeah, ahead. We'll probably talk about it in a different context later. But the 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 mint thing was very revealing. Exactly. All right. So let's go ahead and get into our emails. If you'd like to email us, justinrobertyoung at gmail dot com. Put jury more in the subject line. Justin Robert Young at gmail.com. J U R Y M O R E in the subject line. Amber writes us. So I know you got a lot of good responses to the kid thing, but I wanted to share the best response I found so far. When someone asks, why don't you want slash have kids, respond with, why aren't you an opera singer? I just love the idea of pointing out that just because somebody has the capability of doing something doesn't mean they want or should do it. Uh, I found that response recently online on some silly BuzzFeed article, but it's something I'm going to adopt as my own. I'm single, almost past the childbearing age, and I have no kids and want no kids. I love my nieces and nephews, but uh, I've uh, and kids. I've made my nieces and nephews, so the question does come up on occasion. Loving the podcast, Amber. Are you gonna be? Are you gonna be using that? I actually really like that idea. Why aren't you an opera singer? Yeah. I feel like is that a little too fuddy-duddy like should there be like why aren't you a rhythmic african dancer that's got to be like more hip for the bay area yeah something that's actually feasible (laughs) why aren't you a trance dj uh why uh why don't you do the uh what what do they call it the pot yoga pot yoga no this is a, a buddy of mine a buddy of mine that i ddr with yeah does yoga but it's like pot yoga so you have to have like your medical marijuana card and it's just a room full of pot smoke Oh, so really? So, like, basically a pot yoga instructor. Dude, I might get into that yoga. Yeah. Why didn't you lead an ayahuasca drum circle? <laughs> Shelly writes, hello, Jury Moore. Oh, this is, uh, yeah, Shelly. Uh, Shelly is the one who uh, sent us the bird toy. So, thank you very much. No, it wasn't. Uh, it's, yes, it is. But uh, she okay. has a different name that is hard to pronounce. So, she calls herself che- uh, Shelly. And she told me to call her Shelly. Okay. Um, Thanks, Shelly. Hello, Jury Moore. Greetings from Tijuana, Mexico. My boyfriend or fiance, Daniel, and I got engaged last month. And practically the next day, we started listening to your podcast. Curious fact about engagements in Mexico. The term is... Uh, all right. Let me go ahead and butcher this. Promerito. The term is uh, prometito. Uh, prometito, which translates to promised... To the other person. Anyway, as fellow geeks and Comic-Con veterans, we truly appreciate you sharing your struggles and planning during your dream wedding. Please know that your podcast has initiated interesting and important conversations about our relationship, our wedding, and our future. Wishing you all the best and looking forward to the exciting conclusion of your lovely and geeky adventure, Shelly and Daniel. Aww. Man, maybe we should go on vacation in Mexico. Yeah. That would be nice, right? Maybe. I'd... Probably, yes. I think it would. I've never been to Mexico, so I have Neither no I. idea. Like, where, That's a lie. I have been to Mexico. You have? You were just in, in Mexico doing fucking yoga. Not pot yoga. Uh, all right. So, no, yeah. No, I mean, I would like to go to Mexico. I'd like to do a lot more Central American kind of stuff, too. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, in Cuba. Now that Cuba's open. But Cuba? I'd like to go to Cuba because I feel like I've... It'd be like going to a more concentrated portion of Miami that I like a lot. <laughs> it's like going home. Exactly. Shift lock. Uh, it's why I want to go to Sicily, just because like I would just like to be around other people that look like me. Like it's just like another land of Gonzos. You uh, gotta t- you gotta trim up that beard too. By the way, why aren't you wearing your fedora? <laughs> I'm just breaking saying. all the rules. Shift lock writes, my wife and I discussed having kids, but she was way more excited about it than I was. I remember when she first told me she was pregnant. It was 14 years ago. It was a planned pregnancy, but I was still terrified that it was really happening. I wasn't at all sure I was ready to be a father, but all of my fear disappeared the day that my first child was born. The moment I held him in my arms was magical, uh, and I realized that my beautiful young wife had become a glorious MILF. I mean, like, that's got to be pretty rad if you are, like, into MILF porn. That's weird to say. Well, no, that's, like, a thing. I've known, like, when I was in high school, there were friends of mine that just enjoyed jerking off to MILF porn. Like, it was... Like, what makes it MILF porn? Are they holding a baby? 
No, it's like I mean, in general. Well, really, in pornography, there's like two layers, like for for female performers. Okay. It's teen and milf, and there's no in between. <laughs> you are one of the two. Well, cougar. Yeah, but that's like a subsection of milf. Oh, okay, but not all cougars are moms. Good point. Uh, Saying. I'm just in terms of like if you're labeling pornography, right? All right. It's like teen I mean, and I'm milk. not very and, experienced and very, in porn. To and be very fair. often you'll see like chicks that do both. They'll be both a teen and a milf, although mm. very rarely a teen milf. For whatever reason, that's not a sexy thing to think of a girl having a baby in her teenage years. Huh? Um, who knew? Who knew? All right. James, send us a voicemail, which uh, in general we don't uh, play or do. But he How just, did we get a voicemail? He just recorded a file, and here we go. Hey, Justin and Ashley, it's Big Jim from just outside of Hangar 18 here in beautiful Dayton, Ohio. I just wanted to call in because I figured Justin would like to be a little more lazy and not read, so I made an MP3 so you could drop it in. Okay, so a couple quick things. One, parenting. I've been a parent now. Uh, Sam is four, and the twins, Josh and Gabby, are eight months old. And then he oh, wait, fell off on. the face of the earth. I think it's being oh, stupid no. about Jim. the Jim! This is Big Jim. Big Jim is, is a... Is and I've been married 12 years. You can do the math. Um, there we yeah. go. Yeah. It, it takes time. It takes dedication. And you want to make sure that you're in a position that you're ready for it. I can't stress that enough every day i wake up i'm like am i really ready to be a parent of twins um but i am and it's fun and it's great and i wouldn't give it up for anything in the world that being said you have to want it and if you don't want it don't do it because you're only hurting the kid uh as far as adoption goes totally a proponent of that um i'm adopted myself um so totally can Oh, can. oh, Jim. A Jim. Adopted Jim. Hey, Justin and Ann. Ah, stupid thing. Don't do it because you're only hurting the kid. Uh, as far as adoption goes, totally a proponent of that. Um, I'm adopted myself. Um, so totally can understand. Yeah, this is being stupid. So uh, what was the rest of it? Do you remember? Uh, he was uh, just kind of giving us the same sage advice that... Uh, Many have written in with that, you know, just uh, it's it's good to think through these things. And really, the only way that you can bungle this up is if you don't talk. So does he have twins now? He does, yeah. Can he, can you juggle them? <laughs> like, I mean, like, you know, just like toss them around? I mean, if they're the same weight. No, no, no. It's more impressive if they're not the same weight, right? Yeah, I mean, that. yeah. Yeah. Uh, so if so, you have a third, if you have a third, so then you So thank you very much. And here's the funny thing about Big Jim is that he also sent in, apparently this is his new thing, to send in voicemails to his favorite podcast. Uh-huh. And so he sent one in to Tom at Daily Tech News Show, and he was driving from Dayton to Cleveland. And at the end, he said, like, he signed off by saying, uh, driving by, guess which city? Mansfield. Mansfield, Ohio. Yep. Bum, bum, bum. Look at that. It that's all close to where I grew up. It's part of the plan. And that's all the emails. Oh, that's a lie. Oh, that's, that's all the a, emails. That's a lie. I get this 13 hours ago. Gloria Young writes to the show. Bracing myself. Jury Moore, feedback on kids episode. I just listened to the jury. And that's Moore. the end of the show, hey! guys. Hey! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh right. shit okay here we go i'm scared uh just listen to the jury Moore kid episode is jerry's mom i think i would be remiss if i did not comment as a teen and young woman my attitude about kids uh was were exactly like ashley's i did not care for kids never cared to be around them and never had the desire to coo and woo little babies all of my girlfriends at the time were looking forward to getting married and having kids not me I wanted a career. I wanted to live and work in Manhattan and live the life of a single woman in a fast-paced, challenging business environment. Being a parent would bog me down and get in the way of my dreams. Then I met my husband, the infamous ghost dad, <laughs> and we started our life together and soon got married. At that point, still, there was no desire on my part to have kids. It simply was not a priority for me. 
After I married, I stopped using birth control, and for three years, I never got pregnant. So at, the, at that point, I figured if it was meant to be, uh, kids were not in the cards for me, and I was perfectly fine with that. With that. Then one month, I found out I was pregnant. I cried. I was terrified. What did I know about being a parent? Nothing. She writes nothing with three exclamation points. I remained uh, fearful and terrified until I went from one of my first appointments with my OBGYN. He put a cold stethoscope on my abdomen and moved it around in a few circles, and then I heard it. It was my baby's heartbeat. It was jury's heartbeat. All of a sudden, something came over me. The shocking realization that I had a life inside me. That heartbeat changed my life and my attitude about being a parent. The awesome responsibility became a reality. It made me strong and determined that I could do it. I could be a parent, and more than anything, I wanted to be a mom and a great mom. Now that's a that's a nice email, yeah. Right? That's you really know, sweet. It ties up your elements, how I was a little origin story for I how get, I was born. I get a fiance. Yeah, but of course, I am apparently my mother's son, and it would not just be enough to have a nice email. Mm -hmm. There needs to be a little sizzle. And so I move to the next paragraph. Then, in my first trimester, something devastating happened in my life. It involved Ghost Dad. He did a terrible thing and hurt me beyond comprehension. He hurt me so bad that I wanted to hurt him back, and I thought about aborting my baby to get even with him. I'm ashamed to even admit it, but I did think about it. Obviously, I did not go through with it, and today, I look back and realize that it was the best decision I ever made. She writes in bold and italics, just imagine life without jury. <laughs> right? <laughs> today, I cannot imagine life without my kids. I believe that it would have been empty, and I would have always wondered what my children would be like if I had, uh, what, wondered what my children would be like if I had had them. Uh, fortunately, I don't have to wonder because I have two of the most awesome sons a mom could ever hope for. Ultimately, the decision is 100% personal for each of you individually and as a couple. I know you guys will make the decision that works best for you. Love you both. Glow. Oh, that's so nice. Um, so You have me so scared. Glow, he had me so terrified of this email. I am walking through the airport to get on my fucking plane in L.A. to come home to my snargle larves <laughs> endearing embrace. It's like, Mom wrote in. This is real. I, I was so scared. That was really nice. Yeah. I, I mean, like my that. mom thought about aborting me. I mean. And by the way, I know that story. I mean, I would have. I'm, I'm going I'm to tell you that story after we're done. And we can't tell it here just because it does. It involves more than just. The people that would consent to it. Yes. Uh, but uh, fuck it. I wouldn't blame her. I, ghost fetus me would be like, dude, fucking <laughs> that dude deserved it. Just the go ghost fetus heaven. <laughs> ghost fetus me <laughs> would have given my mom dap. I would have just been like a Casper like fucking ghost being like, yeah, man, homeboy fucking deserved it. Can a haunted ghost dad? Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's kind of well. I don't want to say that it's crazy. I don't think that's a crazy thought. Like for no. for any uh, for anybody that is considering having a child, especially if you're not if you hadn't planned on having one. Oh to, yeah. To all of a sudden be like, holy shit, I'm pregnant, and then want to possibly back out oh, for yeah. any reason, not just the fact that Ghost Dad's a complete asshole. Oh no 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 yeah. Um, but oh, yeah, you know. I I don't want to say that on any level that this is. On whether or not you should, I mean, th get thanks an for not kind of thing. thanks for not aborting him. No, 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 I no. appreciate that, but you know, no. When I say that this is like what she is saying, is that like she wanted to hurt my dad? Oh yeah, because he had hurt her in a very personal way. Yeah, and like that, it w it had, it would have been a sacrifice. She would have like it was a trade to give up something that was precious to her to hurt him. That was the idea. Not like, yeah. you know, I'm scared about being a mom. Or, at that oh, point, yeah, no, no, I like, get that. She was very resolved to doing it. Um, but yeah. Next time, man, next time, just hire a hitman. To murder my father? I mean, you thought he was dead anyway. Yeah. 
He's listen. All he's doing is giving us great content. Yeah. This is the best relationship I've had with my father <laughs> in fucking two decades. So, uh, you know, Mr. Young, you can write in at Jury Moore the <laughs> It's subject just like line. this pinata that, like, we just, like, whenever I hit it, good content falls out. It's oh fucking my amazing. Oh, God. Uh, all right, oh. listen. Uh, if you are also, if you're my dad, please don't email in. Like, I really don't want to hear from you. But uh, please, if you are anybody but Charles Young, email in justinrobertyoung at gmail.com. But Jury Moore in the subject line. Uh, and I do, I, I agree with you, though, that, like, of women who contemplate seriously abortion uh, for any reason, I think it's higher than we might think. It, oh, it's, yeah. it's, it's higher than I think people would guess. You I'm know? sure, I'm uh, sure a lot of people will consider of, it. Of women and say, like, oh, I, this is something that I, at one point you like was seriously considered. Like, man, this is a great flight of stairs right here. You know, it's a. Yeah. Uh... Let me let me see if I can tuck and roll. <laughs> Yeah, that that wasn't funny. Sorry. Um. Anyway. Wait, which part? My joke or your joke? Both jokes. Both jokes. We're bad people. We tag teamed into a terrible oh, joke. Oh, anyway. Uh. All right. Thanks, Glow. Yeah. Oh. Um. Thank you for writing in, Mom. Uh, that was really, really great. And also, it's really awesome that my mom can admit that she was thinking about aborting me because my dad was such an asshole. Yeah. It really unites all my shows. Like all this. Like no, seriously, you guys don't understand how big of an asshole my dad was. Um, no, Neshcom, was that Ghost Dad? Yes, no, my, my father, Ghost Dad, was such a dick that I almost didn't exist. Yeah. Because, oh my God, I wish I could tell this story. I would still be living in Ohio. You would. Ugh. Uh, all right, so there we go. Uh, JustinRobertYoung at gmail.com, jury more in the subject, subject line. Oh, Neshcom was saying that the pizza box falling down oh. that was ghost dead. uh all right any final thoughts um glad you didn't get aborted yeah i mean i mean this is ooh, one of the ooh. few times to- i mean sometimes sometimes i'm just gonna go back and call i'll i'll text glow and be like you know i mean he's a good guy but yeah yeah he, uh, he he had like three sweaty dudes on my floor for like a week <laughs> and it was really hard not to like Leave him. Uh, I'm kidding, though, of course. Mostly. Yeah. Kind of. Igloo points out that Ghost Dad is also the only reason I ever had a shot at existing. He's not the only reason. He is one of a few reasons. Um, among them, also, like, you know, alcohol and my mom. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, and uh, Latin oh, male pride. Oh, my God. But, uh, but, yeah, no, I mean, true. Yeah. He played a role. But he almost fucked it up. Yeah. You know? And then he did fuck it up. Man, that guy. Yeah. All right. Uh, so healthy addicts. Healthy addict pretty much everywhere. Um, fake Spice gang- vegan this week? Ugh, maybe. Spice vegan? Maybe. We'll see. Spice vegan, healthy addict. I have I have like two healthy addict things lined up, so I got to juggle the two. But yeah. um, healthy so addict, health, spice so more vegan. more likely healthy addict stuff this week. Yeah. And then uh, fake gamer girl on Twitch. What are you playing on the Thursday stream? We've been playing Don't Starve, April and I. That's been really, really fun. Don't Starve together. Yeah, and then there's a, a shark game that she wants to play with me. Sharks. Where you get to either be like a scuba diver or you get to be a shark. Uh-huh. And I don't know which one I would be. Is it like if it's Echo Shark Week, no. Oh, no. Oh, it's much bloodier. than. Oh, okay. Which is perfect for the menstruation sensation on sure. a Twitch. You for know? Shark Week. Yeah, yeah, for Shark Week. Yeah. Awesome. We'll have to, we'll have to save it for Shark Week. Uh, anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, Night Attack is on Wednesday instead of Tuesday this week. Uh, make sure to watch the podcast awards because we might win one or none. If we win none, then Wednesday will just be us shitting on the podcast awards. Um, and other than that, FSL. FSL is on the doorstep, my friends. And uh, Tom and I did a little brainstorming today. And man, do we think we have some awesome ideas. So uh, go ahead and take a look at my Twitter. Justin R. Young on Twitter. Justin R. Young on Snapchat. Justin R. Young on Periscope. That's it. Love you guys. Um, do you have any, any uh, a, final, a final parting thought? For everybody 
Winter is coming. Yeah, we got to go watch game. It's game time, baby. Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs> you know nothing, Jon Snow. Please don't get aborted! Oh my god. Are you going to tell that story in jury? No, that was, I, I, I held off telling it. Ah. Uh, all right, guys. Uh, we're going to jet. Um, I need to forage for food because we're not eating out. And uh, we have a lot of TV to watch tonight. We got to watch Throne Games, which is why I got my sweet Game of Thrones shirt on. Uh, My Three-Eyed Raven. And um, uh, Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley. And Veep. And Veep. I haven't seen any Veep. You'll like it. It's funny. Yeah, I need to start watching it. It's just another show you've gone ahead without me. Typical. Huh. You watch shows without me. Okay, the only show that I've watched without you was uh, Transparent, and that's because I thought you had already watched it all. Mm-hmm. A likely story. Yeah, he's a terrible person, you guys. I thought you'd already watched Daredevil. No, that's a lie. That's I a blatant lie. I actually tried to get um, my friends yes. that I was with this weekend to watch it, and um, they had no interest. Thomas is into super. Into superheroes, I was like, but it's Marvel. You love Marvel. And he's like, um, well, what was it? Uh, what was the other? Was it X-Men? X-Men's Marvel, right? Yeah, he's like, well, X-Men was Marvel. I'm like, you didn't like X-Men? <laughs> I liked X-Men. X-Men's great. Yeah. Third one's not great. Hmm? Third one's not great. No, it's not, but... Are we still live? I think we're still live, right? Yeah. Hi, guys. We're still live. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, Hold on. I'm going to tell you this story, and you just give me, I'm going to mute the mics. Okay. And you just, you just give me your reaction. All right. Make sure the mics are muted.